it's an exciting day for the tree project because we're, we're forging the most significant piece of the tree. It's been three and a half years to get this far, so we're pretty, pretty excited to be here. We've had to come up to New South Wales to, to get the trunk forged because there's almost nowhere can do it, something that big. There's about a dozen of us, most of whom have been working on this project since 2009. So three and a half years of voluntary work. So they're absolutely incredible people. They're having a ball. They can't believe they're here. Big machinery in operation. What more can a man want? The machinery side of it is just phenomenal. The, the sheer scale of it, the size of everything. When a, a lathe, I've got a lathe in the shed, which is about this big. Well, their lathe is 100 feet long, you know. Oh, just blows your mind. First of all, we've bought a huge stainless steel billet that went into the furnace last night and that takes quite a few hours to heat up to temperature. I think it's, it's about 1200 degrees for forging temperature. Might have to check that with David, but it's about that, it's very hot. And that goes under a press. It's quite different from blacksmithing. If people are familiar with even regular hammering or power hammers, that's, that's very fast. The press is, is a lot slower. So they basically press it out and stretch it out into a taper. So that happens over a number of heats and over many, many hours. Our trunk, when it's fully forged, is about 50 mil short of the interior of their furnace. So this is a really big piece, just over seven and a half metres long. That's if we're able to forge it out in one piece. We've got the whole range of blacksmithing represented in this single structure and I don't know whether there's anything in the world that is like it. Heavy industrial blacksmithing that's being done here today under the press. Then we've got the branches that have been made under big power hammers, twigs that have been made under sledgehammers and all the tiny little leaves and gum nuts that have been made by hand on the anvils and even really, really tiny leaves made by jewellers. What's significant here is the, I think the, the um, contribution that overall forge you're making is just phenomenal. When you think of the expense going into making that trunk and they're, and they're doing it gratis, what can I say? It blows your mind, it blows your mind. I think there was a moment there when I was standing next to Jack and he said, you can see it, you can see it, it looks like a trunk now. And we can start to visualise the standing up and with leaves and things on it. And yeah, this is the first time we've, we've gone, we've, we've got it, we can see it. Yeah. It's really exciting.